Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and also welcome to this course Object Oriented Programming using Java. Myself Tanvi Rahman and in this tutorial I am going to explain about Java constructors. So firstly we need to know what is a constructor. Constructor is a special type of method and the name of the constructor must be same as the name of the class. Uh, secondly constructor is primarily used uh, to initialize the fields of a class and thirdly a constructor cannot have any return type. And lastly, constructors are two types and there are two types of constructors. Uh, the first one is without parameters, I mean non-parameterized constructors. And the second one is parameterized constructors, which means constructors with parameters. So I am going to show you uh, the um, uh, functionalities of constructors by using the same project I was using, that is the car management system. So let me uh, open the project using Eclipse. And now we can see that this is the project car management system. And inside this project, we have have two packages and inside cars package we have two other classes so let me quickly open the car class and you can see that inside car class there are four fields and one function so now I'm going to create a constructor of this class as I said earlier that the name of the constructor will be same as the name of the class and it will not have any return type so I'm just writing the um, access modifier and then without writing any return type I am writing the name of the constructor which will be the same as the class name and the name of the class here is class car sorry car so I am going to write car here and then uh, parenthesis and lastly curly braces so uh, this is a constructor which is the default constructor and it doesn't contain any kind of um, parameters or it is totally empty so this is the constructor and you can see that it doesn't have any return type and the name of the constructor which is car which is same as the name of the class and uh, constructor uh, are used to initialize a class I said it earlier now I'm going to explain it how we can initialize the field of a uh, class by using a constructor so now uh, I am going to initialize a field which is this dot anyway I'm writing this in order to access the uh, fields of this class and uh, this is an optional thing you, you uh, can uh, write the name of the field directly but uh, you can also write this and then dot and then the name of the field both are correct so this dot name let's say I am going to initialize the field name to uh, BMW uh, so inside this constructor I have initialized the name field of this class to BMW now, now I'm going to open the program dot Java class and there I want to print the name field of this car object and I want to show you if the uh, value of that name field becomes BMW or not so system dot out dot print ln and inside print ln I am going to write BMW dot name as you can see that I haven't initialized the name field from this class rather it is initialized by using the constructor of this class anyway if I'm going to run this project and there I can see that BMW and the fair value of the name field is BMW and which is getting the value from this constructor now if I change it to BMW BMW 5 then if I run it then it becomes BMW 5 so you can see that how we can initialize the uh, field of a class by using constructor anyway so now I am going to explain the different type of constructor which is parameterized constructor so if I write uh, some parameters inside the car constructor like um, if I write string uh, string car name and then um, again string car model and then double car price so these are the three parameters I have included inside this car constructor and I am going to initialize these fields within uh, with the uh, parameter uh, with the parameters uh, of this car constructor so this dot name is equals to car name 
and this dot model is equals to car model and this dot price sorry this dot price is equals to car price so what I did inside the constructor I have included three parameters which means whenever I am going to create an object of this car class then I have to pass these values and you have already seen that there is an error why because I have included three parameters here but uh, at the time I am creating the object of this car class I am not passing any parameter so the constructor car is undefined so you can see that add arguments to match car string string double so I have to pass something string then again string and then double value to be totally fine so I am going to pass like uh, the name of the car must be BMW and the model of the car is 2018 and the price of the car is um, let's say 1000 uh, point zero zero. So now the error is gone. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, now if I uh, print the value uh, BMW dot name, then uh, what will happen? BMW is getting printed because I have passed BMW through these. Um, constructor and inside of this constructor the uh, BMW string is received with this car name and then that car name is being initialized with the name field of this car class and now from the program class whenever I am creating the object of this car with BMW and I am trying to catch or I am trying to get the value of the name field then I am getting BMW now if I want to get the model then probably here uh, we will see that 2018 will be printed 2018 and again if I want to print uh, the price field so I cannot get the price field why because price is private and here I cannot get the price field so uh, this is how we can use constructors and uh, how we can pass parameters to the constructors so if uh, I want to or we want to uh, do something like that um, uh, if a class uh, has some fields and we want that whenever an object of that particular class is uh, going to be created then some values needs to be passed some values needs to be passed which must be initialized to the field of that a particular class then we can create a constructor of that class and inside of the constructor we may have some parameters and and using those parameters we can initialize the class so by doing uh, so we can restrict uh, restrict the users of that class to create an object and by uh, passing the values it is a must so you must have to pass the values if the if there is a parameterized constructor there so that is how we can use constructors and lastly I want to say that constructors can also be overloaded like if uh, I create another constructor like public car and I put only the uh, only a single parameter there like car name and inside this constructor I am going to initialize that this dot name is equals to car name so what I did I just overloaded these constructors overloading means writing uh, the same method or constructor again but with different uh, types of uh, parameters or with different numbers of parameters or different uh, numbers of parameters with different data types whatever it is so these two uh, constructors are overloaded constructors now inside of this program class if I want to create the object of the car class with a single string parameter that is also correct because it matches with this constructor and now if I want to get the name field and I want to pass BMW then again 
I will get BMW from here because whenever I am passing a single string parameter so this constructor is invoked not this one because it doesn't match with the number of parameters so whenever I am writing this code car BMW is equal to new car BMW which means I am passing a single string that single string is matched with this constructor and this constructor is invoked and then the car name is BMW and this BMW is initialized to the name field and then I am calling the name field of that BMW object and then I am getting BMW again so that is how we can use constructors in Java this is Tanvir Rahman signing out thank you for watching